Martin of Japan, we were able to put together for the first time in UNODC uh, Southeast Asia the regional survey to understand uh, better the drivers of illicit trafficking um, in border communities in five Southeast Asia countries. We are very proud to have uh, deployed more than 50 volunteers with very committed uh, goals to go to the most vulnerable communities. This project allowed the volunteers to build upon skills they already have and use them to benefit the greater community. And I think that's beautiful. Getting to work in this project has taught me a lot about real problems happening in border areas, border of my home country and borders of neighboring countries. The COVID-19 pandemic definitely changed the good plan. So I and uh, the volunteer group had to change the way of doing survey from face-to-face -face interview to phone interview. Through different interviews, I understood their view on cross-border trafficking. This motivates me to contribute to alternative development and education for people in remote areas. The community wanted safety across the borders so that people there feel safe without being concerned to threats and so on. The severity of the COVID-19 pandemic had indeed changed the way people interacted with each other and technology played an important part in the way we disseminate and collect information. It's been really cool being able to work together with such a diverse group on this research project towards a common cause, despite the pandemic situation. The opinion of people in the village was pretty challenging, so building trust in right communication is key. What I learned from this assignment is how to deal with different people and different cultures that I had never seen before. ខ្ញុំរៀបពេលសារសិបថ្ងៃនៅក្នុងភូមិនោះដែរនេះជាផលវិបាកសម្រាប់ខ្ញុំរៀបការកន្លងមកដែរខ្ញុំបានបំពេ